For fans of couch co-op games, Overcooked 2 is easily going to be one of the most anticipated games of this year, and as our reviews rolled out this morning, it's shaped up pretty damn well. However, there's always the question when a game ends up on Nintendo Switch of how it compares to either the game beforehand or the other versions of the game on other consoles. The original Overcooked launched on Switch with some fairly clear flaws. There was a sometimes rather unsteady frame rate and just a slightly rough around the edges presentation overall. Overcooked 2, however, feels much more cohesive and much more in line with the game on PlayStation 4. The console here for comparison is PlayStation 4 Pro, captured at 1080p. And this holds true especially in terms of the effects work. While Overcooked 2 keeps the exact same feel to the game, the levels and themes are much more ambitious and busy looking this time around. There's neon lights in some parts, there's smoke coming out of exhaust on the airship, there's the alien world that you go to, and so on. A big improvement over the original's port to Switch is with the shadows, which no longer have jagged, aliased edges, but are just as smooth as elsewhere. In a side-by-side -side comparison, I feel that Overcooked 2 on Switch really holds up very well. There might be some minor step backs compared to home console, but it's a pretty damn good equivalent. However, the game still drops to 30fps on Switch compared to 60fps on other consoles. Thankfully that doesn't make too much of a difference and the game still feels pretty great to play, but you are going to notice if there's a particular tiny little frame drop for a major screen-wide effect like lightning strikes or something like that, you're going to notice that much more on Switch at 30fps than you will with 60fps on PS4. In terms of just the game itself, you've got all of the same flexibility of the combined online and offline play, letting you take two of you into online arcade, for example, to be paired up with two more players. The only thing missing on Switch is the dedicated voice chat, but I would personally say that that only really affects online play with friends, and if that's the case, you can always set up Discord, Skype, or even something like FaceTime to chat. The controls are still just as nice and simple, you're using four face buttons to pick up and interact, dash, throw and emote. This works perfectly for Switch and the Joy-Con, meaning that you instantly have two controllers for this game bundled with the console. While Xbox and PlayStation owners, if they get the console for the first time, they've just got one controller, you can make do with the awkward sharing a controller if you have to. Obviously, ideally you want to have one controller each, and so the Switch has got this natural advantage in that regard. Just one extra set of Joy-Con and you're away with four players on the couch. If you are jumping between platforms, I have to tell you that you need to pay attention to the button layout shown on the loading screen, as they are placed differently on Switch and there is no way to alter it back. There's been quite a few instances where I've been trying to drop some food on a plate and I've just been pressing the wrong button or whatever, and that is just a mental hurdle to overcome. Of course, if you just play on one or the other, it's absolutely not a concern. One area that Ghost Town have clearly worked on is just the general fine-tuning of the presentation. Overcooked switch port just felt a bit basic going back to it now. The button indicators always use the four dots for the location, which is completely agnostic compared to the controller that you're using, but not quite as easy to understand. And the graphic for that was just a little bit low-res and awkward feeling. Additionally, for some reason you could only scroll through menu options using the analog stick. Overcook 2 now fixes that, so you can use the D-pad to scroll around, and you've also got the button letters on the prompts where appropriate. It's such a minor point, but it does actually make a surprising difference. All in all, the Switch version of Overcooked 2 really holds up very well. The frame rate is much more steady, and that is something that happened for the original game's release, where they patched it to be better performing. The graphics have taken a good step forward, uh, you've got the online play, and just in general, Overcooked 2 on Switch really holds up well against the competition. This has just been a light look at the game, there might be something that we're not spotting here just from our general play, but hopefully you found this informative and you've enjoyed what you've seen. Please do make sure to head over to the sixthaxis.com where we've got our written review of the game, and you can also just head there for general video gaming news, reviews, previews, and everything else. Obviously, please do like, subscribe, and share to this channel for more of this kind of thing, and hopefully we will see you again soon. Goodbye!